Welcome back, America. Earlier today, Maricopa County in Arizona announced that they have officially started their hand count audit of the 22 midterm elections. That's kind of interesting because there's 400,000 outstanding ballots that still remain uncounted. What a county, what a state. <laughs> Joining us now to discuss her race and react to this news is the Republican nominee for Arizona Governor, Carrie Lake. Carrie, great to have you on the show. I know it's got to be a frustrating 48 hours. Oh, man. You know, we've had this happen before. It's like deja vu all over again. <laughs> we had problems in the primary that mirrored this. And of course, we had problems in the 2020 election, but we weren't allowed to talk about it. And now we got to talk about it because yeah. we can't keep holding up the, the count for Arizonans and for America the balance of power. We don't know where it lies in some of these races, and we're not going to have this continue. When I'm governor, and I re and rest assured I will win, we know what votes are left to be counted, and we know they are going to lean heavily Republican, and we're going to restore faith and honesty in our elections, uh, starting on day one. Yeah. I love that, and, and maybe you're right. Maybe the silver lining of this is that this is the final nail in the coffin for those machines and this, this disastrous system. But I wanted to ask you about I mean, Katie Hobbs' role in all of this as Secretary of State, she is the overseer to make sure that everything runs smoothly, and obviously it has not for the second cycle in a row. Is, is anyone in Arizona media or national media pinning her down on this and saying, this was your job, what's up? Well, part of it is her job. A lot of it falls with the county recorders. We have 15 different counties, and so she oversees part of it, and she certifies the election. The problem is that we've allowed our elections to become so unruly where we don't have election day, we have election month, and we have mail-in ballots all over the place. People who live in a house with one registered voter end up with you know four and five ballots. Yeah. That's where the fraud slips in. Now, I have the, the latest numbers on what's left to be counted here, and we have over 620 20,000 ballots in Arizona left to be counted. This is missing two counties, by the way, so there's probably more. And of those guys, um, 385, roughly, thousand ballots are the ones that were mailed out to people at their home, and they filled them out, and they walked them in on election day. They didn't put them in the mailbox. They did not put them in the uh, drop box. These are people who generally don't trust that type of voting, and so they walked it in. They wanted to hand deliver it to somebody, and we think those votes are going to go heavily our way. At the low end, we think we'll get 60% of those. At the high end, we could get more than 80% of those votes. We feel 100% confident we're going to win. I will be Arizona's next governor, and we think think by looking at these numbers that even Blake Masters could pull out a victory as well. So it's just going to take time because they've got to go through now and verify signatures, open up the ballots, and it's a, a very long process. But I will tell you, when I get into office, we're going to work diligently to make this process a lot easier, easier to vote, harder to cheat. Yeah, we had um, Scott Rasmussen, the great pollster, on, and he did a poll just before the election. 80% of Americans say there's no reason America can't count and collect their ballots by election day and get it done by election night. Uh, can you get that done in Arizona? Can you and the legislature get the system uh, pared down so it can be finished at midnight or one or two in the morning? Yep. I'd already been talking to lawmakers about it, telling them this is going to be a top priority for me. Obviously, the, ballot, the uh, elections are a top priority and the uh, border security. But I said, we need to get to work immediately on elections without hesitation. And this was before this election. And in a way, I think having troubles in this election will help us to move faster to restore honesty in our elections. We have a movement here we, I believe, won in, in, by big numbers, and I think in the end you'll see that. And we are going to do big things for Arizona. We're going to tackle the tough problems. This is not rocket science. John, you know, and Amanda, we've all been voting for a long time, and we remember days when it was much easier. I think we should get back to a paper ballot, hand count, night of the election. We have the results go back to small precincts. We'll work with the legislature to make this happen. Absolutely. I know the people of Arizona are going to love that. They are also going to love uh, what you plan to do to protect the state of Arizona and our nation, because we know that every state is now a border state. But you have talked about what you are going to do on day one to fortify that border. Can you just uh, reiterate that with us? 
Well, we have a plan called Defend Arizona, and we're going to lean heavily on Article 1, Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution that when we're being invaded, we can protect our citizens and protect our border, and we'll issue a declaration of invasion on day one, and we're going to work to stop people from coming over illegally and shut down the fentanyl trafficking that is flowing through Arizona. This is a weapon of mass destruction, in my opinion. It's killed so many thousands of people across our state and across our country and it comes through Arizona and then it goes to the other states as well and we don't want to be known as the fentanyl pipeline. We will work to secure our border and help secure this country uh, beginning on day one along with securing our elections as well. Yeah, such an important message because this uh, border crisis is now really being felt everywhere. But on the front lines, every time Arizona does tries to do something constructive, the Biden administration seems to stick its foot out and try to trip them up. They were threatening to pull down those barriers that the Governor Ducey put up. Are you prepared to sue uh, God, President Biden if you have to to make sure you can enforce the laws the way you want them enforced? Absolutely. We have an entire, I had meetings with staff yesterday. We're working, already moving forward on transition, and we are bringing in our, we've got an entire uh, staff that is dedicated to just our border plan. And we're looking at hiring attorneys already and some really top-notch people who understand the Constitution, border, and how to deal with the federal government. We are ready for the fight. This is a fight worth having. We must protect our citizens. It's not just our right to do this, John, it is our obligation to do yeah. this. Okay. Absolutely. And I know there have been quite a few great lawyers who have been deployed to the state of Arizona to help you out. So I'm very heartened to hear that. Speaking of being heartened to hear things, we are in a time of uncertainty in this country, but there in Arizona with the fate of your state or the statewide slate hanging in the balance. What's your what's your message to voters as they are waiting with bated breath? I will just tell the people who've been our supporters, you know, we were on the campaign trail for 525 days and we have, we didn't have a campaign, we had a movement. And it is full of energy. It's full of people who've never been involved in politics. It truly is a movement of we the people. And I want them to know, do not lose one ounce of enthusiasm. We will get through this. We have to get through this in order to get to the other side and repair our broken election system. And I know that the people who support me are fighters and they're strong and have faith. God is with us. We're going to get through this and our brightest days are ahead. Calm, cool, collected, even in overtime. That's what voters want to see, and that's what they got in Cary Lake. Cary, thanks for joining us. We know how busy you are, but uh, great update. Thank you. Thanks.